Genau. <lacht> Kanambe. I think just give me a thumbs up when you're ready, when I can start. Okay. Ah, you can maybe greet the people something. Greet the people, my sister. Oh, you have something to do? Yeah. Hey, everyone. Um, we're just getting started. I'm Susie Asis, as most of you know, and I'm actually like, this is the first time ever that I've done an at home session, so I'm really excited. I wanted to introduce you to Ims Nikolao. He's a world class uh, guitarist, so he's performed in like China, he's in performed Namibia. in Namibia, <laughs> he's performed in South Africa. Where else have you performed? All over. All over. So it's kind of weird uh, performing at home. But it's going to be very exciting for us to, you know, do something different. And we're so excited to play for you guys, especially during this really tough time. Um, what this, the Good Institute um, plan to do is they, they have this idea of um, encouraging people to stay at home and also um, supporting musicians. Um, at, it's also very, very difficult for us as musicians, you know, during this time where not only musicians, but also small businesses, We've all been affected. Bus big businesses have been affected as well. So they just wanted to help out with us, uh, booking us to perform for you guys. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening. We have one hour with you. You can ask us questions and that we'll do later on. And yeah, so me and Ims are going to start. It's really going to be a relaxing evening. So we hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And also at the very end, you'll get to request a song.
So guys, that song was called Harambe. Um, Harambe um, in Swahili um, is Swahili, sorry, and it means um, to unite. So I lived in Kenya for about 18 months and I really enjoyed my time there. I was a missionary for my church and we're just, you know, talking to people and connecting with people. And so I just called the song Harambe because I feel like um, Africans or in general, a lot of people are just not united. And so it's just a fun song when you hear it. I'm sure you've heard it now. You can feel that it's just a happy, um, happy, 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 cheerful song. So I hope you enjoy that one. Um, what we're going to do now is we're just going to ask a question. Well, I'm going to ask a question to Ims. Um, these questions were provided by the Guta Center. And uh, Ims is so excited to talk to you guys. <laughs> He's not shy at all. <laughs> Yeah, so, okay, so the question here that's given is, what does a day in the life of Ims look like now that we're in lockdown? So, Ims, what do you do during lockdown? How does your day start? How does it end? What are the things that you do? I think I practice most of the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the lockdown is like a time for practice for me. So, mm -hmm. after lockdown, I'll be like better than up. <laughs> yeah, I know. Recordings and stuff, I guess, yeah. That's it. Yeah, I think that's very true. Ims is, uh, he's very humble right now, but he is a hard worker. He practices almost every single time. Like, every time I call him, he's just always on the phone. I mean, on his guitar. <laughs> on the phone, looking up songs to practice. Yeah, so, cool. Um, maybe we can ask another question. Um, so, this one, I'll just answer it. Um, it's number two, ne? Uh, what coping mechani mechanisms have you put in place to readjust to the current reality? So, like, basically, how do you cope with the quarantine? Um, what do you do to cope with the quarantine? Um, one thing that I do, I know it's, it's a very strange time. We've never felt this, all of us, you know, in our lives before, um, feeling like you just have to be at home all the time. So one thing that I do is that um, I start my day with a prayer. Uh, most days, at least. Um, I pray regularly. I read my scriptures. I just enjoy uh, being in touch with the spirit. Um, yeah, that's something that calms me down. So for other people, it might be meditating. It might be yoga. Um, I exercise as well regularly. Um, not as much as I wish I could this, this time during COVID. I feel like I eat a lot um, now. But yeah, so basically prayer and reading scriptures, I think it really helps me calm down and just feel at peace. Uh, knowing that this world is there's, there's something bigger than this, what's going on right now. So that's the things that I do. So I think we're not going to talk so much. We're going to play. And um, mm. what's the next song, Ims? I hope the song is fine now. Huh? Mm -hmm. Loki. Mm -hmm. Loki. This song is called... Um, whoops. Sorry. This song is called Loki. And Loki is mm. about um, basically being Loki. You know, a lot of the times I'm in the limelight, I'm always performing on stage, but I actually do enjoy uh, being with my family, being with my friends, and um, being with people that I love a lot. So, yeah, so I think in life, I feel like it's very important for us to um, focus on the things that matter most to us, uh, rather than, you know, being on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram the whole time. You know, let's rather focus on the people that matter most. Let's stay low-key. Let's not try and be always up in everyone's face. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy this one.
So we're going to go for some more questions. And um, this one is for Ims. The question is, how has your life changed since the lockdown? Oh, yeah, a lot of, a lot of change, actually. Let me see. No shows, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no shows anymore. Yeah. No playing on big stages. Yeah. Like, now this live thing came up now. Mm. Well, we're doing now this performance. Mm. Now, that's like a big mm. change. And we used to, we used, uh, we used to play to big crowds. Mm. Now we have to play to ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's nice, but hey, you have to get used to it. Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's it. But I think one thing that you told me is that you actually teach um, you you used to teach, yeah, you used to teach in person, yeah. but now you teach online. Yeah. So at least you have a little bit of work um, cut out work for you. <laughs> yeah, so at least you still have um, a lot of work. And I think Ims is just one of the unique musicians where he does almost everything. So he performs, but he also teaches. So even though he may not be able to perform, um, okay, now we're performing, so this is really great. Yeah. Um, but he's able to, he also produces, and I think that's, that's awesome that he can still do that at home. And I think that's where we're trying to go. I think the COVID-19, um, this era has taught us that, you know, we, we need to start learning how to do things um, at home or online and promoting ourselves in different ways as musicians or even businesses. You know, I think we've learned a lot, um, yeah, during this time. So yeah, cool, man. Yeah. Thank you for your, okay, thank you for your answer. <laughs> So um, I think I will um, answer a question. Yeah. Uh, let's see what's the next question. Uh, number four. Ne? Do you have any possible solutions as to how local artists can support each other? Um, I think not, not just only artists, but for businesses to support each other. I think the only way is for us to reach out to one another and give free information, help each other where we have weaknesses. For example, uh, Ims and I perform a lot, um, but one thing that I, I learned during the lockdown is learning how to connect um, a microphone to my computer. A lot of musicians do know that, but I'm one of those musicians, a lot of musicians who actually don't um, know how to work um, electronically um you know recording stuff you know through your computer where you can you know you can record stuff and you can sell that stuff online so um i think what we can do as local artists um, is just share information and ways that we can be creative and um yeah make money through online platforms but we need to give each other advice and stuff and not only artists, I think, for example, today we're working with a camera company. I think that's ways that we can collaborate together, you know, doing things together and um, achieving a goal um, that can help support our lives and earn, earn, earn a living. I think that's one way is that just reach, reaching out to, to one another. Yeah, so let's get some music going. Yeah, let's do that. Uh -huh. Let's see what the next song is going to be. <laughs> Ims feels like playing a gospel song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, I think what we'll do is uh, maybe now um, uh, we've got the, our camera team, they will actually communicate with you guys because we don't have the actual live in front of us. So one thing is what we can do is we'll choose, um, we'll give you options, a few songs, and you guys can choose. So um, they will just monitor the, the song that has the most, um, uh, the most, you know, requests. Thank you, <laughs> my English. So you can choose between like an African cover. We can do a cover of an African artist, um, like an African jazz song, or you can choose between, uh, you can also choose, that is option one. Option two is a pop song. Uh, so a popular pop song that some of you, most of you will probably know, you can choose that. Or we can choose a popular uh, trending R&B song right now. So those, those, those are your three choices. Um, yeah, if you could just text us now, option one is an African jazz song. Option two is um, a, a popular pop song, so a pop cover. And then option three is an R&B cover, so a, tr a one that's trending right now. So you guys get to choose, keep going, keep going, keep writing, and then they will decide. Um, well, they'll have a look and they will um, take your decision on what song you prefer us to play now before we continue with our own original songs. Well, so they, they've got to choose. We, we're waiting for them. Are they choosing? Are they making choices? Are they requesting? So I'll keep saying it until we get like, you know, a lot of requests. African song, African jazz. You can say African jazz, pop song or R&B song. Okay, so let's see. Anyone requesting? And then also later on you can ask questions. There'll be a time for you guys to ask questions. Um, yeah, so this is our first time doing this. It's so fun, this is awesome. Uh, it's kind of weird that we don't have like someone, you know, right there, but um, this is really cool actually. Get some water. Okay, so people requested, so the popular song was? MC Bini. MC Bini. Okay, so that wasn't any of the options, <laughs> but um, we'll play that song. Um, I think a lot of you have been seeing that um, I, I, I recorded a, a video, a small video uh, of that song. MC Bini is a song by um, DJ Maporisa and Kabza, for those of you that don't know. Um, so we'll play that song. Uh, it's a house song. I'll let you know. <laughs> Yeah, so um, yeah, so we'll play that one since you guys requested it. Okay, and after that, the most popular one was African jazz, so we'll play that one. I thought you guys are tired of our African jazz that we're already playing, so I thought you'd choose something else, but it's all good. Um, how about actually we play the African, we'll play the African jazz one now. Um, the person, the people that have chosen MC Mbini will definitely play that for you um, at the very end, because I feel like it's such a nice song to end to. So I hope you don't mind can't see your response but we will play your song M Simbini. I think we'll start off with the African jazz song. Okay, cool. Thank you. 
Yeah, that was a good song. Um, so that song was called um, Noana Wakukasa. I'll be honest with you, I don't know what it means, but it's a beautiful song by Ivan Mazuze, who is a Mozambican, um, Norway-based um, saxophonist. He studied in Cape Town, so I actually first um, got to see him in Cape Town, uh, South Africa at a jazz festival. And yeah, so you guys should check him out if you love that song. He's an amazing saxophonist, so brilliant, so professional. He's just awesome. So we're going to go on to questions. Yeah. Um, Ems, have we answered enough questions yeah, on your side? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fine. Um, let, me on, let me answer a question. I think this question here says, how important do you think arts and culture is in helping supporting a society cope during these dark, unknowing times? Um, I think arts and culture is actually it plays a huge, huge, huge role in um, healing people uh, during these tough times, especially dance, singing, music. And the reason why I say this is 
I, I think that the health workers are doing amazing, trying to save lives and doing their best to cure people. I think as well, um, artists um, help to heal their souls emotionally, uh, spiritually, um, you know, in a way that, you know, when you're feeling sad and down, you know, you've just, you've lost your job or things. We Africans are known to be people of, of, of music, people of dance. When things go wrong, when things are, are of, you know, when we are challenged, um, many, many years back, for, it starts from many, many years back where that's what we use to um, overcome these, um, these issues is just to laugh a little, dance a little. And, and so I think music and arts and culture play a huge role. I mean, think of how many times you as a person, maybe you were just like, oh, I need to listen to um, Bill Withers right now, you know, rest in peace, uh, so may his soul rest in peace. Um, think of just any artist right now, because you've been at home, you just need to, you know, you need a pickup, you need something to uplift you. And so I feel that music, as well as dance, as well as all different types of art, you know, painting helps people, um, you know, just relax and, and, and just, you know, yeah. So I think it's very, very important to have the arts and the culture, um, yeah, in, in during this really challenging, tough time. Hope I answered your question. <laughs> yeah, so um, I think what we can also do now is um, answer one of your questions, maybe one or two. Um, do we have any questions from you guys? Oh, that's what you mean. I thought you were just showing me. Questions. Just careful the glass, eh? So we'll answer one or two or three of your questions because we've got a bit of time. My wedding should be tomorrow and my wife would have loved to hear boys to men. I will make love to you. You know this <laughs> Do you know it, Ibs? I know like part of it, yeah. I think you can do a small insert. So okay, um, I think gonna, I think. The, the let me chorus. just re let me read it again for because you 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 spoke softly. Um, Herman Bock, um, hi Herman. <laughs> um, he wrote, "My wedding should have been tomorrow, and my wife would have loved to hear boys to men. I'll make love to you." So Im says that he knows a little bit of boys to men. So we didn't prepare this, but we can play a little bit of, just a little bit. The chorus, yeah. Yeah, he's going to play the, the chorus for you. Um, I don't know the song. I know the song, but I don't know the song, like on, on my saxophone. So, but Ims is here. That's why he's here, world-class guitarist. Yeah. <laughs>
hope you enjoyed that one and all of you who are boys to men fans uh, i think we'll answer maybe two or three more questions um yeah we love to connect with you we'd love to hear how you guys feel yeah. about our performance or you know um yeah is there any questions that we can Okay, so one of the questions was, when did I start playing the saxophone and the challenges that I faced? Ne? Okay, um, I started playing saxophone when I was uh, 16 years old. Um, I went to high school in Cape Town in South Africa. Um, we were lucky enough to go to high school there and we went to a very, very cool school because they offered a lot of music classes, a lot of arts classes. And one day, they, it was an assembly, and I saw the whole jazz band of the school play. It was like, there was like trombones, trumpets, saxophones, all these gold, beautiful instruments. And this, like, I had a piano background uh, from Oranjemund, which is the south of Namibia, for those of you who are from outside. Um, and so I played piano, but I didn't know much about playing the saxophone. And so when I was 16, I saw them play and I was just so intrigued. I was just like, this is amazing. I just want to learn how to play this instrument. And so um, at that age, we were encouraged to go to a jazz festival. So I attended a jazz festival um, in Grahamstown. I think it's got a new name now, but it was called Grahamstown. And um, I saw this band play and I was just like, oh my goodness, I just want to learn how to play the instrument the way they know it and I just want to be on that stage. I want to be part of that family for the rest of my life. And um, my mom was very supportive. My family was very supportive. I never had any um, negative impact or negative comments about playing an instrument and doing it for the rest of my life. And here I am now, I'm playing and I get to earn a living and yeah, hopefully buy a house one day. <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, it's really awesome. And I'm just grateful for, for, for those opportunities and, and finding jazz at a very young age, or at least uh, for me, it, it seemed young. Yeah, so anyway, Ims, do you want to answer or do you want to ask? No, <laughs> okay. someone just say the joint now, the one you the one has to play a song again, and you must take a solo this time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I must take a so. So he's saying what? I must. We must play a song. He yeah. just joined now. Yeah. Why are you late? <laughs> I'm joking. It's yeah. fine. Um, I was playing solos before. So anyway, I'll play another one. I'll do a solo. Yeah, we can do. We can do a song. So this song um, is called Only You. Um, and yeah, Eames took a solo just now, and he was playing along. So I will take a solo in the song, not just play solo. Yeah. Okay. So I think we can do Only You. Let's do that. Yeah.
Awesome question to, who was it that answer, who asked that question? I forgot. Uh -huh. Get upon the table. Oh, another question. This is fun actually asking, uh, answering questions. Um, so let's look for a question. Hmm. Now I see comments and I see really good comments. Thank you guys, I appreciate them. I'm just looking for a question. Uh, Ims, do you know Heal the World? Heal the World huh? by Michael Jackson. Yeah. Heal the world. Thank you. Who wants that? Someone's asking. I'm asking you because I can't play it. I don't know. I don't know. But. Um, um, no. He just said a little small insert. So this was from uh, Ben Zulu. Hey, Ben. Uh, he said, can you do Heal the World? It's just a small insert. So okay. Ims can do anything. Yeah. So. <laughs> still looping, though. <laughs> Tell Ben. another question um, ah, let's see let's see let's see Manenberg. Hmm? Manenberg. someone asked for Manenberg. Yeah. okay um, let me ask you this question though Ims um, how has lockdown affected your creation process did I ask for you that <laughs> like has it affected you like you creating do you feel like you held back like you can't create or do you feel no, like nah it's all so. gucci no it's all gucci it's prada normal, it's all adidas nike nah. you just do it nah, I'm practicing <laughs> more, so it's good for me yeah yeah i think what ims is saying is really true um a lot of instrumentalists right now it's actually a really awesome time because if you're not teaching like you were usually teaching or if you're not you know yeah just doing other work like besides being a musician it's actually a really awesome time for you to develop your skill um, to learn new songs, um, there's so much time, you've got the whole day. So, and to become pro professional, you need to be practicing about two to three hours every day just to have um, you know, a flow of um, what you're learning every single time, just repetition, repetition, so that your brain is just you know, um, engulfing all that information. So I think it's really, um, yeah, it's actually, you know, as much as it's a burden for us that we're not um, earning money, you know, we've lost performances, I was supposed to open for Burner Boy. You know, it's really sad because he's an awesome musician. And that would be really cool. Um, we had to cancel that show, but 
now I can, you know, maybe learn more Burner Boy songs or learn more things that are technical, um, things that I, you know, maybe I'm struggling with a lot of my weaknesses. I can, you know, improve them right now. So yeah, cool. How often do you guys perform together? How often do we perform together, Ims? <laughs> I don't know. You answer that. Okay. Um, Ims and I perform probably every, like, you know, every other week. Yeah. Every other week. Like, this week we'll perform, and then next week maybe we're not performing together, and then the next week we'll perform. Um, we've been performing for a very long time. I don't know how many years. Yes, no, I guess. Is it five? I think it's more. But, um, really? yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we've been, yeah, we just gel and. Um, we're very grateful because there's not many instrumentalists, um, you know, performing, you know, just instrumental music, if that makes sense. Um, so that's why we actually get along is because we, we are in the same field. Um, rather than, for example, maybe there might be singers who are friends to each other. So we, we are the only ones in our country at the moment that are um, maybe performing more than others. Um, so there are many others, um, but we're just one of those that probably have started it for, for quite a long time. And because Namibia is a small country, so there's only a few that you, you actually know um, doing it as a, as a full-time job. That's what I mean. It's full-time. Um, we don't do anything else um, other than music. Any other question? Um, can you play any local song? And also, if it's too quiet, we want to know his upbringing. Mm -hmm. And how we started. Oh, so... Yeah. I started playing when I was nine in church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I started playing in church. I love church. So yeah, I I, I think I think like the church musicians are the best musicians ever mm -hmm. in the world. Like you. <laughs> now, <I'm just> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, then I joined College of Arts for a while. Mm. All my theory stuff. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Then so theory, so how long have you been playing uh, guitar? Ten years. Ten years. And one thing, uh, th some of you don't know, uh, we were going to play piano, but we'll probably, hopefully, if we do another one, we, yeah. Ims plays piano as well. I play piano, but not as good as Ims. Not like, I can't like sit and perform for you. But Ims is talented in piano and then producing music as I well. I can also play saxophone though, but I'm not the <laughs> Ims knows like one or two notes. <laughs> one, like literally one note. Um, but yeah, so Ims is a gifted guitarist. If you want to get hold of him, he's got his email, right? Is that way, where, where do you prefer people to contact you? On your Insta Facebook? Instagram, I guess. Instagram. Yeah. So, but some people don't have Instagram. So, email. Uh, email. So, it's, I your email is Ims, I-M-M-S. In. N95 at gmail.com. Gmail gmail Small letters. So if you forget that, you can just go on his Facebook, his Instagram, just send a message. Um, and he, he usually, um, he will reply. Um, he's available for weddings, you know, many events. You know, he plays all over. He plays for Liz Ellis. He plays for Susie Aces. He plays for himself. He plays for church bands. He can play anything and for anyone so he's really really talented and i'm grateful to have an opportunity to perform with him he teaches me so much yeah mm. any other questions uh local songs hmm? local songs okay we have five minutes left so we would like to do a local song but we have to think of the last person that said that we should do in in simbini so we're going to do our last song and we just want to say thank you so much for being here um I saw how many people were online and I really appreciate it. We thank you so much and we hope you enjoyed it. I hope it brought a different, um, a different energy and a different nature to you during this COVID time. I hope you can feel uplifted. I can hope you can feel inspired, motivated to do something, maybe learn an instrument. We're available to teach you if you have a keyboard at home lying around. Yeah, so my mom has to watch the news at 8 p.m. because <laughs> remember, I'm still at home um, and I, I probably have to join her. But we really appreciate um, and thank you so much the Gute Institute for um, supporting us, booking us to perform. Um, let us know if you'd like to do more, you know, send us messages, talk to us on this live. You know, we will be watching the live. Um, we would like to say shout out to New Mission Films. Yeah, like someone also said, they're doing a really good job. A question from says that... Uh, who is doing the video? Who is doing the video work? Well, Sorry, okay. guys. So in studio with us is um, Crystal Media, New Mission Films.
that's how I know them. Pedro Mendoza. Did I say it? Men Pe Pedro Mendoza? Guys, am I right, camera? Okay. And um, <laughs> you know what? Pedro's handwriting is really like... Mesh beats, yeah, that's how I know you, mesh beats, but it's, <laughs> yeah, so thank you, thank you so much to New Mission Films, to Crystal Media, Mesh Beats, and Pedro Mendoza, they have been behind the scenes, they are doing this, um, you know, by the, by the, 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 the Gute Institute, um, and also Mesh Beats' wife, she's also over here, she's been helping us with the whole camera thing, thank you guys, all of you, thank you so much for being here, we'd love to do more, so let us know if you, if you want us to have more of these, if you have any more suggestions, well, how can we improve, we always want to be better than how we are, so yeah, have a good, good evening, and we'll end it off with M. Sembini, and yeah, so let's do it, man. <laughs>
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you <laughs> once again. And we hope you have a beautiful evening. Yeah, and let's hope that we can do this again. Thank you, guys. Thank you once again to the Gute Institute, New Mission Films, Crystal Media, Madge Beats, his wife, Pedro Mendoza. Thank you guys so much. And I hope you have a good evening. Thank you. Yeah, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>